have contributed an untold amount of their time over the years to the community as well as the, the Pudunk Snowmobile Club. I would go so far as to say, without John and Susie Holmes, we might not have snowmobiling in Dixfield. John and Susie have spent many hours keeping the club running, coordinating fundraisers, club business, corresponding with other clubs, communicating with our business sponsors, making sure we stay linked to the MSA, and I know I am missing many things that are done. That's just a few. All of this is accomplished, and they make it look easy. Yeah. And think about it. John hasn't owned a snowmobile in years. So to, to John and Susie, a big thank you for everything that you've done and continue to do. Today, we are fortunate enough to have Senator Lisa Kime with us, and she would like to say a, a few words and recognize these above the efforts and present John with an award recognizing Susie for everything they have done for the community and for the sport of some of One last comment. Susie will be remembered forever as a kind, giving woman, and she will be missed dearly by many. sponsored a legislative sentiment in memoriam for Susie and I just thought this was the appropriate place to give it to John because I know that her heart was in so many different community efforts but this one's this one especially and I really think that Susie was a pretty formidable force in a small <laughs> stature of a package um, so we've spent time with her in the um, Boosters Club, and there is a proper way to do everything, and she knew it. Um, and just, you know, with with her passing, Lyme disease in, in Maine really has lost sort of someone that really spoke out to um, defend those people and really um, advocate for anyone that was suffering from that, including John, who she just adored. Um, she was willing to take on the whole state of Maine government and the Maine CDC because she was going to make sure that, you know, that story of what it was like to, to be suffering with Lyme was known and recognized. So with that, I will read the memoriam. State of Maine in memoriam, whereas the legislature has learned with deep regret of the death of Susan R. Holmes of Dixfield. Mrs. Holmes co-owned a grocery store with her husband John for over 30 years. An avid supporter of Dergo Athletics, she helped to raise money with the Booster Club to support her high school athletes. Later in life, she became a staunch advocate for the study and treatment of Lyme disease in Maine, and she volunteered her time on the town planning board. Mrs. Holmes will be long remembered and sadly missed by her husband, to whom she was married for 54 years, her family, and her friends. Therefore, be it resolved that we, the members of the Senate and House of Representatives, pause in a moment of understanding and prayer to inscribe this token of sympathy and condolence to all who share this great loss and respectfully request that when the legislature adjourns this date, it do so in honor and lasting tribute to Susan Holmes. Oh.